Hey everyone, welcome to this weekly series where I break down little tips and tricks that I've learned in On One Photo Raw 2018. For the first tip and trick, I'm going to show you an underrated tool within the photography world that you may have heard of, but you're kind of scared to use it because you don't really know what it does. And that's the tone curve. The tone curve is one of my favorite editing tools because it gives you complete control of your highlights, your shadows, and your midtones. So there's two ways that you can access a tone curve in On One Photo Raw. The first way is to be inside of develop. Once you're inside of develop, you can go to this button here where it says show more under the overall settings and click that and then you'll have curves right here. And now you have your tone curve. And that's the first way to get your tone curve inside of On One Photo Raw. The second way to do it is inside of effects. So let's close out of this curves here and let's go into effects. And now in effects, we want to add a filter and we're going to add tone enhancer. Inside of tone enhancer is where you're going to find the tone curve. It's right at the bottom here under curves. What the tone curve represents is your tones in your photos based off of your shadows, your midtones, and your highlights. So for the line here, this line is actually representing the darker areas of your photo, your blacks, and then your whites. As you can see with this, these two bars here, it goes from black to white. So everything in between that is your shadows, your midtones, and your highlights. So basically there's only three things to remember when using the tone curve. And that's when you go in the middle of the tone curve, it's going to be your midtones. If you go right here in this quadrant right here, then this is going to be your highlights. Notice how if I pull up on them, it's going to boost my highlights. And if I bring down the tone curve, it's going to tone the highlights down. Also, same thing, this is your shadows. So if I bring up my shadows, it's going to expose the shadows more. And if I bring them down, it's going to create a curve based on me pulling my shadows down. Another great thing about the tone curve is you can actually add your own points to the line. So if I wanted to boost my highlights, but I didn't want to affect the midtones and the shadows, what I can do is I can put a point where my midtones are and now I can play with my highlights however I want, and I won't affect the shadows or the midtones too much. I mean, obviously it's a curve, so whatever you move, it's going to move this a little bit, but it's not really going to show anything on the image. So I can boost that independently, or I can make it go down. I could do the same thing with my shadows. And if I wanted to do it to my midtones, I could simply put a point where my highlights are, and my shadows, and now I can click my midtone point, and now I can move that independently from my highlights and shadows. The best way to learn the tone curve is probably just to play around with it. You'll start to develop how the controls work on your photo more, and then you can start really playing around to get more style. The tone curve is also a great tool to use when you're messing with color. So if I went to the tone curve for my red, and in this tone curve, instead of dealing with the overall tonality of my photo, it's going to deal with that specific color within the midtones, shadows, and highlights of my photo. So it's going to deal with all of the reds. So if I wanted to turn down, say, the reds from my shadows, I could do the same thing we did before in the other tone curve, where I put a point in the middle, and now I can decrease all of the reds from my shadows, or I can increase them. I could do the same thing with the highlights. And also, I could do the same thing with the green or the blue. So now what I want to do is I want to show you how I would edit this photo using the tone curve. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reset the tone enhancer so I can start from scratch. And the photo looks a little flat. So the first thing I want to do is I want to add some contrast to it. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a little bit flatter by bringing up the blacks. But you'll see in a second why I'm doing it. So I'm going to pull up the blacks a little bit. And that's going to reveal some of the darker areas in my photo. But I want to pull back on the shadow tones in those dark areas. So what we can do is we can put a point here and we can just pull it down. And you can see that it adds a lot of awesome contrast to our photo. It's almost like using a dehazer. So now that we have the contrast in there, now it's looking a little dark. So what we can do now is we can go to our midtones and we can pull them up to where, you know, about to where they were, maybe a little higher. And that looks pretty good so far. Now let's just pull down our highlights just a little bit, just so it's not crunchy. 
and then maybe play with this. And that looks pretty good so far. So let's turn it off and on. And yeah, it looks a lot better than it was. Um, maybe we could just turn down the midtones a tad, just so it's not so dramatic looking. Yeah, that looks great like that. As you can see, the tone curve is an awesome tool when it comes to dealing with the shadows, midtones, and highlights of your photo. It's also a great tool when you're dealing with certain colors within those tonal ranges. Thanks for watching my first tip and trick video. I'm Dylan with On One, and stay tuned for more.